Okay, so this is an informational video for the Predator 212. So we'll start, we'll start off with uh, um, two different types of Predator 212. So there's a Hemi and there's a non-Hemi. The way you figure that out is that with the valve cover, the one that you know, the one that you have, you got to figure that out with the valve cover. So the valve cover is either stamped aluminum or cast aluminum. And if this one is stamped, you can see the difference easily. So the one that's stamped, that's the non-Hemi version. The one that is uh, cast, that's the Hemi one. So with this uh, engine, you can uh, do pretty awesome modifications to make it uh, a lot more powerful than just 6.5 horsepower. So um, just some history on this engine. Um, what this actually is, is actually a Honda clone. So the what Chinese people did is they took the Honda, they completely copied everything that they found inside and they made this engine. So it's basically a Honda and it runs like a Honda. Sometimes they even run better than Hondas in cold weather. So with this engine, you get a pretty good amount of, of power. You, there's really no need for modification if you have a really lightweight person. But if you're heavy, if you have a go-kart with a go-kart that's heavy with like a roll cage and everything, then you might as well modify it. So. The basic modifications are intake, carburetor jet, and an exhaust system. So that will just give you a, a pretty good, it will give you more res uh, response, it will give you more, a little bit more power, it won't give you more like a RP, more RPM capability, but it will just give you all around more power. And it will sound better, a lot better, because it's going to be basically like a straight pipe. So yeah, the air stock air box is kind of restrictive, or that's at least what they say. Just all this plastic that air has to flow through and through this filter. What you would do is change this for a foam filter, and it, and it I guess it breathes better, or that's at least what they say. So when you do that, you don't want too much air flowing into your engine without enough exhaust, enough enough fuel. So. What you do for that is you uh, do if, is you change the emuls emulsion tube and the jet to a bigger size so that you can flow more fuel. So if you increase airflow into an engine, you're making more power. But according to that amount of air, you have to increase the amount of fuel flowing. So you can purchase these emulsion tube and a jet. This is the stock one. These are all stock parts. I just had them off of other engines so that right there will make you uh, may have you make make you have a little bit more horsepower so air filter carburetor jet and a, uh, exhaust if you want to go even higher if you want to increase the speed you go in the go-kart because speed varies on the engine rpm with go-karts because there's no gears and um, yeah, you can do even crazier modifications, but what you have to do, um, if you go higher than that, you might you already have to change the rod and the flywheel. The reasons are, if you change valve springs, which are under the, the valve cover, the stock valve springs are really, they're really thin. These are the stock ones, and you can see I'm literally compressing them with my with my fingers they're really uh, they're really weak so there's this thing it's called valve flow what happens at higher pms is that these these valves are opened up so quickly that uh, the springs can't uh, can't are not fast enough to close the valve and once you once that happens your valves are open at the wrong time and then your engine just starts to die to die and everything it's not a bad thing but it's just um, when people upgrade valve springs and then that means the engine can go a little bit higher of our rpm but after a certain rpm I, I forgot which one these things go out they'll literally just destroy themselves if you just upgrade valve springs these things are cast aluminum and they're basically just crap they'll literally fly apart and they're they're not strong same thing as this this is cast but this is cast iron 
and these will fly apart also. It will probably injure you or something, I don't know. But you'll destroy your engine, just could blow a, a hole in your block maybe. I've never had it happen to me, and I've never heard of it, I mean I've heard of it happening, yeah it will happen, but I don't know anyone who it happened to, but it's better not to risk. So, what you do is most people buy an ARC billet rod. These rods cost $87. It's pretty pricey, so if you do want to modify your engine past an air filter, past uh, the carburetor jet and past an exhaust, plan on spending up to $600 because that's uh, that's how far you go with it. So when changing this, you have to change it to an ARC billet flywheel, which is around $100. So there you go, this is 100 bucks. I mean the new one, the air, the uh, aluminum billet one, and this one is also. So there you go, that's 200 bucks already. 200 bucks straight into the engine. That means after that, you can basically modify the engine up to a pretty high horsepower. We had our engines modified and we would be, I'm 200 pounds and the go-kart itself is probably around close to 200 pounds also, but we'd fly up to 50 miles an hour and, and have fun with those carts because they're, and they're off-road carts. So it shows you just kind of how much power increase it could be. So what you would do with this, yeah, you change those, you change those two. So if you change those, you can change your valve springs and make you, your, your uh, go-kart go up to very high RPMs. And that's, that's pretty awesome. It'll sound good and it'll, it'll make a lot more power. These stock engines go up to only around 3,600 RPMs, which is really small amount. What we had, we didn't really upgrade the valve strings too much, but they were a little bit more heavy duty. And we had our carts go up to 6,000 RPMs, which, which is twice as much as the stock one. But if you, for that, for you to do that also, there's a, down there, there's a lot of videos on YouTube and everything, but anyways, these govern a removal. Oh yeah, um, upgrading valve springs is not necessary. It won't do anything because this governor will keep you from going high RPMs also. So if you're upgrading valve springs, take out the governor also. And change the rod, change the flywheel. It's gonna be lots of money, so plan on doing that. So there are lots of valve springs out there, but if you plan on changing your camshaft, your cam will have specs on it telling you which aluminum flywheel to buy and which valve springs to buy according to that cam. So do not go ahead and buy valve springs, don't go ahead and buy um, a flywheel because there will need to be a specific uh, timing set on that valve spring, I mean on that flywheel. So you have to, uh, when you look for a cam, it will tell you which, which springs to buy and which, which flywheel. Uh, I got my parts off of OMB Warehouse, so OMB Warehouse, and it's off. Uh, it's online, and they're always available, and their parts are always there, and and the prices there are probably better than if you find on eBay. Don't go for the Stage One kits and Stage Two and Stage Three kits and all that. <clears throat> Buy your parts separately; you'll get a better deal that way. So, and there's another place that you can buy stuff. It's uh, GoPowerSports.com. Also, yeah. Here's the stock cam. I have it all in bags because it's really dirty and greasy, but the stock cam, if, if you know anything about lobe lift, it has a, it doesn't have that much lift and it won't open up the springs as much. It won't open up the valve as much. So if you in, in, uh, change your cam, you have uh, more air flowing. Valve timing is a lot, is a lot more, there's a lot more time for the valves to open and you'll flow a lot more air into it. So you can really play around with your, your modifications. Also, another modification you can do just, just by taking your head off and putting a thinner head gasket, you're making your compression go up. So you, your compression ratio is way higher because of that thin head gasket. And that means you have to put in a higher octane gas just to not detonate. So put in a higher octane gas. You can just by changing the head gasket, you can make more power out of that if you change the gas also. 
Also changing your spark plug uh, to a better burning spark plug or something like that and it will make it work better also. Another modification is removing your oil sensor, especially if you're in a go-kart. You'll be churning on the sides and this oil sensor, it's, uh, it senses if oil is rising or lowering and if you churn, your engine will literally shut off because because of um, so right here if the oil tips I mean if the engine tips and oil goes to one side it will, it will think that there's no oil in the engine so it will autom automatically shut off yeah so in our in my other video there I show you how to take that out take the governors out and valve springs I mean no not valve springs the rod flywheel just to take apart the engine yeah, so and that's the stock exhaust. Also, there's a it's a muffler, so it's a lot quieter stock, and it's restrictive. So if you add an exhaust, it's going to breathe a lot better. If you add intake, if you add an intake, you're going to have air in, but also at the same time you have to have air out, so it'll both breathe go. So it it, it breathe pretty well. So just make your air. So just when you modify things. You got to think about this. The more air you flow into the engine, the more power you will make. But you have to think about how much air you're putting in, so that way you know how much fuel to put in, and that way you you won't destroy your engine. You won't lean it out. You'll have enough fuel for the amount of enough air. There's also an OMB warehouse. There's a lot of questions and answers that you go can go through. You can ask your own questions, and and they'll answer all of it. So. That seems like it. Seems like everything that I needed to say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.